Of course, we have heard it before. I thought it was only limited to what we do here in Ghana. Until I came across this video. A video of Kanye West, who was having an interview session with Piers Morgan. And in this video, Kanye West was saying that thing that Shatawale has been disturbing our brains with. Kanye West was having an interview session with Piers Morgan. Piers Morgan is a British broadcaster, a journalist, and a writer. So many years of experience with high reputation as a broadcaster or as um, a journalist or as a writer. He is known. He is famed for what he has been doing over the years. When you go to the international media, Piers Morgan is a big name. Huge impact, huge influence, and I want to believe he has been successful in this area as a journalist. Interestingly, or better still, shockingly, in an interview with Kanye West, Kanye West was asking him that, before you can advise me, you need to be more than I am. Before you can advise me, you need to have more than I have. I just on the video and said, ah. Oh. So it is not only Shatawale who is known for saying some of these things. So many people are also likely to be saying this, especially when they know that they have been able to make life through their own efforts, without your influence, without your contribution, without your input, they have been able to make their own life successful. So how dare you come in to advise them? How dare you come in to tell them what they should do? Do you doubt this? I have a short video, a short clip that I would want you to see. When you see it, then I'll come back and tell you that sometimes we need to enter into the psyche of these people to be able to judge them. Sometimes when we consider what they go through, the difficulty that they would have to surmount before they get to where they are, it is hard to understand them. We can only agree to some of the things they say, move on, and make it look like there is no bigger deal in how they react. Then maybe we can have a comfortable life with them. Until then, if you are not able to do it that way, we are always going to disagree with them. We are always going to have some issues with them here and there. Let's go watch the video briefly. When I come back, I'll summarize what I'm telling you about celebrities, lifestyle, attitude, behavioral, and their character as well. If we can understand them, they are the same everywhere you go. Especially after watching this interview session between Piers Morgan, who is an established brand when it comes to media and journalism in the world, and Kanye West, who is also a big name, a global icon in the music industry. Let's go watch this. I'll be right back. And you, can, you can ignore no, me? You Pierce, can ignore me? Pierce, 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 how much money are you worth? Not as much as you, sadly. Exactly. So take my advice. Maybe you'll get richer. I would love to take your business why advice. Why would I listen to you? I, well, why don't you, why do you hear what my advice is and then work out if I'm wrong? Can... All right. So you saw this. When P.S. Morgan was trying his best to put an information across to Kanye West to make it look like he is directing him on what to do right, the gentleman said that, no, you cannot tell me what to do. You can only tell me what to do when you have more than I have. He was even asking him, how much are you worth? <laughs> how much are you worth? Or better still, what do you have? If you don't have more than I have, how do you tell me? And I believe even in Africa, or better still in Ghana, when you come here, sometimes there is a balance we say that if you have the access, if you have the means, then go and do it. So you meet someone who is rich. You meet someone who is wealthy. You meet someone who has been able to break through successfully with whatever he's doing, and you are now coming to tell him what he should do right or wrong. No, the person thinks that he has gone through the test of life. He's gone through the test of time to get to where he is. So what are you coming to tell him again? What are you coming to teach him again to do? I'm sure that was what transpired between Piers Morgan and Kanye West. He was asking him that, what is your wealth? What do you have? 
If you don't have what I have, how do you tell me how to behave? And I said earlier that until we get into the psyche of creatives, until we get into their shoes, until we get into their lifestyle to know how they think, how they see things from their perspective, and how we also see things from where we are, there will always be that conflict. There will always be that misunderstanding. Because they see things differently. They know their struggles. They know it has been them and them alone, and nobody else to their rescue. They've gone through all the hardship, all the difficulties to get to where they are. Yet, we are always finding it difficult to understand their struggles. We are always finding it difficult to understand how they see things. So I want to say finally that you see Shatawale, you see Sarkodie, you see Stone Boy, Samini, and every great artist in Ghana that we have seen or that we have known. Just as Kanye West was thinking, it is the same way they also think. They think that the so-called pundits, they think that the so-called presenters, they think that the so-called entertainment journalists, you guys don't have much influence in their lives like that. You guys don't have much impact in their lives like that because they have been able to go through the mail to get to where they are now. So what are you going to show them today? What are you going to show them for the years to come or for the months to come? Unfortunately, we also think that we should tell them what they should do. I know people who have sat on radio, TV, online platforms, telling artists why they created something that way, telling artists why they did it that way or this way. Now, unfortunately, it is going to be like that. That conflict is always going to be there. Because we, the consumers, sometimes we also think we also have an opinion. Consumers also think that they also have a, their way. They also want to suggest that it could have been done or it can be done this way. And that was the same encounter we have watched between Kanye West and Piers Morgan. It is like that. Shatawale might not be the first person or might not be the only person who has told Ghanaian media that until you become successful, until you make it like he's done it, until you buy mansions with swimming pools, cars, and setting up businesses and paying so many people, sometimes it is hard for you to tell them what to do. It is not different from what Kanye West said. And I want to end by saying that we just have to understand them that their position is not an easy position. We just have to understand them that it is not easy to be in the shoes of these people. What they go through on a daily, physical and psychological, before they are even able to create. What they hear about themselves being said in the media, how they see life, it is not easy to be them. Let's just understand them. Let's just sometimes put ourselves in their shoes. And when we are talking to them, give them the necessary respect that they deserve. Accord them that respect that they deserve. And if we are able to do that, everything will be fine. My name is Sammy Flex. I want to say thanks to you for watching.